All right, we're back. Jesus. So we've just cheated death, essentially. Here, settle down. Don't go too quickly. What about the musketeer? He's an old musketeer from the 12 bottles. Uh, let's go back to camp. No, we're, we're gonna continue from here. We'll go here. We're going to the inn for leisure, of course. There's coin to be made. Simple tree you pulled to the tavern won't work. How feel about taking a seat? <laughs> you have a thirst for the game already, I see. We'll be playing to win, of course. You'll be aiding me. You just signal me you know the comb's cards. Dutch will find anyone quite so drunk as before, so I'll need better information for to win. You communicate the suit and the value of your opponent's best card. Be enough to tip the scales. The way you told your cards and how to play them will tell me everything. Call this pinch and drop signal. Let's start with the clubs. Play a card from your hand, holding three fingers in the air. Very good. For hearts, hold the card with two fingers instead. I'm sure you know where this is going. One finger lifted for spades. And closed when diamonds. To move on to signaling card values, so we go over the signaling suits again. Great. Where you place a card with signaling suits value to me. For aces, raise the highest card to the highest point before letting it fall to the table. Just like that. For king, show me a strident ruler reaching forward, placing him deep into the table. Okay. What in the hell? Now for queens, treat the monarch with respect. Gently lower the laid down place on the table. Could you... You're not... You're not registering it! That's why I can't shuffle! And for jacks, pull your hand back before... Fling the rascal forward. Well done. Uh, nope. I'm good. I got it. Very well. Suppose you're wondering how you'll see your opponent's hand if you're sat at the table. Any ideas? You. Quite right. You can't pour the wine while you're a customer. Responsibility will rest on my shoulders. Deal in such a way you could steal a look at your marked card. Commit to memory the highest value card they get dealt. Don't forget it's suit. And if your lucky wrench is dealt two cards of joint highest value, but with different suits, either will do. Call the technique dealer's glimpse. Let's practice. Alright. Mm hmm. Ace of hearts. Got it. So what the heck is... Oh, God. Um... Am I going to be able to see when I hold down? Alright. No, I need to go ace. Bravo. Seems you have yourself a plan. Alright, indiscreet fingers. Run through it again. I'm good. We have quite a journey yet. Some hadn't ridden practice for past time. Let me find my quill. God, I love that he has all this stuff. A relic France later that day. He has proven to be a fertile hunting ground in the past. Take a look at the man in the red seated over there in his finery. Let's fleece him for all he's worth. Sit him back here while I'm seated. You seem utterly bored, my young friend. I happen to know the perfect cure for that ailment. You're not a doctor, I hope. I may be bored, but I'm not suicidal. I only administer the sweetest form of thrill. The old game of cards. It's a remedy my humans can agree with. Please have a seat. Well, hey you guys. It seems like this is a perfect opportunity for me to join in. What's up? I want all... Oh, no. We're going to start with 20. Mm-hmm. What is it? Man, there's like nothing you got here. Queen of hearts. The queen needs to be gently rested down. Alright. No. No. Queen of hearts. Lay it. Lay it! Jesus! Maybe I should play with game <laughs> I I can't blame the game for that, but like... Hmm. I'm growing sick for your medicine count. Don't stay for another. Do stay for another round. Won't hurt one bit. I'll bet just that, actually. Queen of diamonds. I could work with that. 
I don't know how many diamonds is. Oh, King of Hearts. Okay. So down to Throne Forward. Ooh, Ace of Spades. Hold on. I don't remember what the heck Spades is. Spades. Raise them up. Haha. -ha. Stringent defeat again. We've got a dreadful bedside mana count. Only through suffering do we feel alive. God, alright. <clears throat> this is gonna be rough. Ace of spades again! Alright, I'll take that. So what is it, three down? For the ace of spades? How do you even win knowing that? I mean, despite the fact that, you know, I'm not helping you as much as I can, how does he win knowing these cards? I even wonder how these cards are randomized. Do you think we're gonna take him for all he's worth? Oh, well, I can't make the bet for another round. Speedman was expensive, but appreciated. We shall play, say, a game of cards. A day keeps the doctor away, not an apple. I fully agree, my friend. The apple only works if you're good at throwing it at the doctor. Thank you, Monsieur. I'll be a good patient and follow your prescription. <laughs> prescription of what? Looting all of your money? Okay, that's a lot faster. I don't know why, but that's a lot faster than it normally goes. There we go. Now I'm shuffling like a pro. That's what's up. Every single time I happen to have an ace in my hand, just saying. How to deal. Perfect! Thank God. I think the reason why it works is because it's supposed to be a movement. And now to hopefully not die. What the f God. I am so shocked that that worked. <sighs> You're done, old man. Now, tell me your story. Do it and I will spare a hundred lyre so your niece can keep wiping your ass for a while. It all happened in February 1723, near Paris. This way. Oh? Make way for the king! Sophie. What the heck? Sophie? Sophie the Aubigny? No. You'll not hear one more word. I swear an oath to the king. Oh god! Uh Sophie, what happened to Sophie? How could I be the last one standing? Or if you all gone, my friends. God, that's... That took a turn. He's... Dead. Old fool. Dramatic and incontent to the end. Let's go. There's nothing left for us to do here. I wonder where Theodore is hiding. Man, we really gotta stop sticking around for uh, murder scenes. It really looks like we're real guilty now. Then again, so does it look like for Count Germain. I guess there's also the Parliament's Cafe. Eh, can't hurt. Let's see word from dear Voltaire. Must have impressed him as we've been invited back to the Parliament Cafe. Time we broadened our repertoire and put on a real show. Strategy will rely on sleight of hand in some skullduggery with a spare deck. Kick things off. I'll slip a second deck into your pocket as you pour me a drink. Oh, oh, we're doing this again. Hold on, I should do this with mouse and keyboard since now I can do this. Using a duplicate deck, you will prepare me a favorable stack before concealing it in the palm of your hand. 
We will rejoin the table after cut the cards before we resume our game. See this opportunity to place the cards you arranged at the top of the deck. That's the essence of twin deck theft. Quite simple, really. <laughs> let's give it a try. First, let's practice the part where I slip you the duplicate deck. As I like to call it, the part where you give me another drink. <laughs> right, of course. I always be forgetting that. Half of this is just basically because these people are drunks. <laughs> Thanks, Len. At this point, I'll find a reason to send you away into a back room. Imagine there are five of us playing, and I'm last in the deal. Make a stack that favors me and disadvantages my opponents. So, wait, hold on. So I want... One... Wasn't a high-ranking card, lad. Remember, as I'm the last in deal, I'll be dealt the first card you pick. Okay, let's try again. So I... So you... Great, now push the card to my position in the deal by stacking four low-ranking cards. One... Two, three, and then four? Jeez, how am I gonna keep doing that? Well done. I can seal the stack in the palm of your hand so you're ready to deposit when cutting. Got it. Excellent. I trust you understood all of this. Oh, thank God I asked. Let's have another run through it. Alright, uh, individual techniques are simple enough, but there's a bit of a catch. Pretend you're moving on to the next round and I've just finished dealing. Oh boy. What the heck? What's this? Two of the same card. Right. I, I always be forgetting that bit. That's gonna be what's, uh, really, really bad. Since you're stacking the deck with the second deck. Er, you must be mistaken, good sir. Mistaken, there are duplicate cards right here in my hand. Simple printing error, I swear. Take me for a fool? You're a cheat. I love that he's just switching back and forth. Shandarmes? What the heck? No. Never the gallows. And then he just runs? That's the plan? It's to run? How did he... Did... Yeah, I'm very confused. So as you can see, adding a handful of new cards to the deck is all well and good until our opponents end up with duplicates. means we're a bit stuck. Don't know why you're smiling. <laughs> Strategy's flawed. I'm not sure what to suggest now. <laughs> <laughs> you should see your face laugh. Yeah, I think I know. I'm picking it out. Who wouldn't have taught you all this to tell you it doesn't work? Simply need to play with the other deck. No duplicates in that one. Turns you know it's actually missing a few cards. Exchange two decks with a wine porn trick from before. Now you relieve us of our problem, but also present us with another stack of opportunity. Avoid duplicate card issue. So the deck you'll be creating a stack for this time. It will be missing cards you used as a favorable stack with early on. You can make another favorable stack by adding those cards back to the deck they originally came from. So I hope you remember the cards you palmed before. What? Oh, uh, <laughs> of course you didn't. You weren't to know. In the future, you must remember the first cards you palmed during the strategy. I have to remember? But God, it's going to be so oof. That sounds rather dull, though. Okay, I guess I can scan the deck. How am I going to do that? By the way, after a moon duplicates, you need to stack them atop the table deck to your turn. Don't forget to make sure I get the high card. Time for a perfect... It's time to perfect it, yet that's the plan. Oh my god, that's gonna be so many steps. Still fiddly, I know, but I have faith in your abilities, lad. So I advise you to try the entire strategy without my instruction. What do you say? Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Alright, so... Let's get Ace... Three of spades, two of diamonds, two of spades, and six of hearts. Okay, I'm definitely gonna remember that. Sit down. I know I said I wouldn't intervene, but his stack is a mess, lad. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? Why is it a mess? Oh, wait, am I also stacking for myself? Am I stacking the cards for myself? 
Oh wait. Oh, Possibly. he might have been out of order. I just I might not have been looking. Maybe that's what it was. We need an ace somewhere in here. Uh, da -da. Give me that. And then I need a five mm -hmm. and a six, and then that's good. And now I've forgotten all the cards. I sit down. Get played the cards. Everything going well. Now for the tricky part. Now I've got a poor again. Hmm. I think I uh, poured that a little too quick. Duplicates removed. <laughs> Duplicates removed. Okay, that one. Uh, I think I had an eight. Okay, I had a nine. I think it was nine arts. Nope, it wasn't nine arts. No. You know what? It, technically, it will work as long as I don't uh, mess it up. So I got I got four out. Wait, but I I also have to do it so that I stack the deck again. I forgot. I have to stack the deck again. Oh my god, I forgot about that. So not only do I have to, I got poor, get the cards, I got groovy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Plus, I have to remember the order. All right, so I'm gonna choose only diamonds and try and keep up with that, and like have the ace be something else. So five of diamonds, ten of diamonds, nine of diamonds, and then six of diamonds. And I go back, cut the deck. <laughs> Perfect. And then. Get shuffled the cards out. Now we go back. Four. Switch out the decks. Go back over here. Now again, I have to take the the six of diamonds out. I have to find the ace of hearts. Or at least a ace of hearts. Okay. Uh, five of diamonds. I do forget that I can't actually just flip through the deck and see. Oh, right, right. Ten of diamonds, of course. And then the... What was it? Nine of diamonds? That is a nine of diamonds. Come on. I can't be doing this in the actual game. Nine of diamonds. There we go. And now... Now I go back. Cut the cards. After all that. And then... Perfect. See, I've gotten all the duplicate cards, man. Stack them in my favor, too. Without risking our ploy being recovered. But here's the thing I just stacked the deck in his favor with the same cards. Again. Wouldn't they notice that? Do you feel that? The carriage wheels have hit cobblestone. We're here. Of course, Parliament Cafe, one hour later. Man, where the heck am I starting from that's always one hour later, later that day? Ah, there he is. Who the heck are we going to be swindling now? Since it's five people, it's got to be somebody else. My friends, I'm glad to see you again. What are you doing? I'm practicing while Voltaire is hammering his latest philosophical marvel inside the minds of... Boetians. Our previous encounter revealed a new world to me. Do you know you could cheat a coin flip? You have to put the coin between your index and thumb, then imprint a quick rotation to the coin by snapping your fingers at the same time as you throw the coin upwards. Damn. Theories of the coin will come back into your hand on the same side as you throw it. It's called steady coin. <laughs> Good luck with that. Hmm. What the heck? Mes amis le tricier. What a pleasure. Maitri Voltaire, I received your letter. How could we be of assistance? Our previous encounter gave me a foundation for a rather unique satire of Leibnizian optimism and its ridiculous consequences. What? I simply need you for a small experiment. Experiments? What sort of experiments? Inside are the three optimistic fools waiting to be slaughtered at your hands. What? Enter, cheat, and ruin them. 
Each of them has only known the contents of a perfectly comfortable life so far, either by luck, heritage, or sheer avarice. I want to know what happens when these advantages are gone. It's in it for us. They are rich and gullible. <laughs> Let's go! I feel like we're gonna have to use that coin trick at some point in time during this. God, I hope I can do this with the mouse and keyboard. I swear, if that goes up like it did before, I'm gonna be screwed. Here they are, Reverend, General, <laughs> Madame. Let me introduce you to your adversary tonight. Little one is much to my taste. I will eat him alive. Yeah. Young fellow is no match for my strategic mind, I could tell already. Come and join us, comrades. Do you have the white or the black? We're not playing one of your lieutenant games of chess tonight, General. Playing cards for money. And, uh, I knew that, of course. It was figure of speech. A butad. Do we have to bet money? It's not really a Christian thing to do. Reverend, we all know that despite your slender aspect, money is stuffed in all your sacred orifices. <laughs> well, damn. It's time to bet. Yes, this is definitely going to be fine. Um, do I bet a lot? No, I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet. If I bet 20, it'll go to 40. If I go 40, it'll go 80. <laughs> Let me give myself some room here to bet. Glad you look tired. Get yourself some coffee. Go stretch your legs. We're all friends here. Alright. I guess it's time to go... What am I going to go? Shuffle deck? Pretty be as kind to refill my glass for you. Hmm. Now, hopefully, again, they don't get suspicious. Oh, shit. Alright. Well, I guess I, uh, I have to do that last. So, eight of clubs, six of clubs, five of clubs, seven of clubs. And then an ace of diamonds. Five, six, seven, eight. That'll do. Hey, ace of diamonds. Feeling better? Please give the deck out to the general. Can deal. Thank God that thing is slow as heck. It's gonna be real bad if that gets any higher. Well done. That was a brilliant round. Wait, does that mean I've won? No, you didn't. Monsoro was being sarcastic. <laughs> Me too! Haha. <laughs> right. What are you waiting for? Deal again. Do I go third? I'll go 30. That are you well? Young man, you seem to have weak blood. Please come back when you feel better. What a quaffable grape. Pour me some more on your way out, lad. Alright, now I need to stack the deck in the favor again. So I need uh but was it spades or was it clubs? Five, six, seven, eight, ace of ace of diamonds. Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> this is going way better than I expected. Uh, let's put some color on your cheeks. Go ahead and cut the deck, lad. Sure. Why the heck not? Hmm. Alright. I've lost again. My head spins, heart stops, and my purse dries. All three of them, so empty. Give me all you got. Do you need another walk, lad? Again? Do excuse the boy. Carriage had a goose earlier, and he's been feeling off-color ever since. How upsetting. Go take a walk, little one. 
But please, on the way out, pour me another drink. Well, well, would you look at that in an empty glass? You know what to do, boy. Oh, this is gonna be tough. All right, let's pick whatever we got first. All right, let's go. Ten of spades, nine of spades, seven of spades, uh, two of spades, and then ace of hearts. Two, seven, nine, ten, and an ace of hearts. Hmm, two, seven, nine, ten, and an ace of hearts. I don't think I actually have to remember since I can just switch the deck back. I've lost everything. You're cheating. No, no, I'm not. Not you, Bubblehead. Them. I disagree, madam. Me too. I've studied these fellows. And although they are peculiar, foul play couldn't escape my sagacity. How could it, General? How could it? Farewell, my friends. I hope we will meet again. You owe us a revenge. That was an incredible demonstration. Thank you. You're lucky. I doubt luck plays any part in your game, but shall we confirm this beyond doubt? You're my guest. Yeah, Lambert, would you mind giving this coin to your young friend here? If your friend manages to toss it face up three times in a row, you win. I guess I will do it. What? But how? Time for the coin flip, I guess. Here's a coin. What shall we bet? Oh, I don't like this. Uh, 20! I got money! Why not? So you want me to do that? <gasps> Whoops, I didn't do it. Oh, wait, no I did. Bravo. Let's try again. Only if we double the bet. So we need heads. God, that's gonna be rough. That's magic. Another try. I'll double the bet. Hope that counted. Yeah, because it didn't flip in the air. Oh, that's good. I don't know what spell you cast on that coin by except defeat. We will take our leave now. Again, you win, and yet... I pity both of you, my friends. Trying to skew chance is the best way to, to be its instrument. <laughs> you did it, didn't you? The study coin trick? <laughs> Just luck? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. My apprentice continues to surprise me. Can't help it, dear Count. Our generation will bury yours in the history books. And now, I'm a thousandaire! Heck yeah! Where the heck can we even go? So we could go back to the manor. Or we could go to the barn? What do you mean the barn? We're going to the barn? I guess I could go to the barn. What am I going to do? Coin flips at the barn? Alright, lad. They should be here soon. They? Why, our opponents for the evening. Do you remember to lose? Those three gamblers with unlimited fines and unquenchable thirst to lose their money? Sort of golden goose doesn't stop by very often. It'd be criminal to let them go, so I've organized a game with them. Shh, here they come. Think about the strategy you want to apply. The, the strategy I want to apply! Count, you seem particularly jovial tonight. Not that it matters, I'm taking the pot. I win at the card table, just as I win on the battlefield. Always pressing, never retreating. And rarely sober. Let's see if those boasts have any truth to them. Oh my god, I can bet infinite money? Ho! Ho! Ho, 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 ho. I'm gonna take your money, sir. Give me all your money. Stolen card is, is good, but I can't do that forever. 
I do like Disheveled Gatherer. Disheveled Gatherer is pretty good. But I like the Bottle of Kokoras better. Mm. Three diamonds! <coughs> Alright, what was it? One, two, three. Oh, all I have to do is... I don't even have to do the three? That was humiliating. Like a rout against Spanish armies. Like a lewd slip of the tongue in the middle of a sermon. Nice work, lad. Now let's quit whilst ahead. Stay as you wish. Fortune favors the brave, after all. 20. I'm betting 20. Purely because I'm ahead. Indiscreet fingers. Ooh, I do like that one. I could, I could do the stolen card again. No, we'll do, we'll do another bottle. All right, one is spades. Oh, clubs. All right. Oop. Oh, dang it. I need to lose. You need to love this game. Smashing victory, meta. Okay. Yeah, no, no. We have to bet here. So we're not doing... Ah, all right. What am I doing? Diamonds? Diamonds. No, why did it do... I need... <laughs> why did it do that? You didn't fool, you won, did I? Yes, you did. Hard to imagine how. Good. Alright. I just need to keep betting. Why is this one not working? Is Diamonds. Uh, is he cheating? He is cheating. How dare you, in God's name I'm not. Not you, the general's talking about come out. General, give him your saber if you please. Be careful, it's heavy. Third husband was a butcher. I've killed oxen with bludgeons. Ooh, okay. That's what I figured. That's weird. It didn't let me do that. Perfect. Now, I just need to get that. Are you sitting comfortably? Yeah, thanks. I'm glad you feel at home. You want to get back to your life? Do you want to avoid the end? <laughs> I could send you back, ready to play for your life. <laughs> Gee, death. No, I won't pay for it, but I'll gamble for it. <laughs> All right. Ha, I lost. I'm hesitant to let you leave. Not often I have such fun. But you will be back here soon enough. Until then, farewell, young soul. <clears throat> Wake up. All right. Uh, where are we? Okay. Yeah, I remember now. Let's do eighty. Give me eighty. I want it. Stolen card? Nah, it takes up too much time. <clears throat> Indiscreet fingers. Alright, four hearts. Queen of hearts. <clears throat> and the queen I laid down, I'm pretty sure. Queen of diamonds, okay. Ah, ace of hearts. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> and I think hearts is two down. So, since it's ace of hearts, it doesn't really matter. I'll be taking your money. That was humiliating. I go out against Spanish armies. Like a loose slip of the tongue. Alright, let's bet, um... Let's bet 20. <clears throat> and 
and bottle of cohors. Clubs, huh? No, up, down, left, right, left, right, left, right. There we go. Why did it not want to register clubs? It's so annoying. <laughs> I won this round, so you did count. So I didn't win this time. I had an ace though. If only I had wits as well. Nice work, lad. Let's go all ahead. Leave is what I wanted to do. <clears throat> Ah, it's the time. Do excuse us, we have quite the journey to make up. Until next time. Hmm. I could keep swindling them more and more and more and more and more if I start low. And then I just need to do a spallion. See if a letter inviting us to Beauregard. See if we didn't trounce the Baroness roughly enough last time. Do feel slightly guilty, but we cannot leave her fortune to rot. That would be criminal. Since you were playing my valet last time, we'll stick to that. Sure. Very good. Here's what we're going to do. We'll improve the trick we played last time. This time you'll signal the highest card in the Baroness's hand, along with its value in suit like before. Pick up a glass of wine will tell me the value of the highest card. Why? Why would you do that? How you hold the glass higher the card you'll signal. Let's try it out. So at the Ace of Clubs, strongest card is to take the glass by the rim and wipe as casual. Oh, clubs. There we go. <clears throat> let's forget the King of Hearts. Or let's try for the King of Hearts, one below the Ace. Now signal so Queen of Spades. One beneath the king, take the glass by the stem. There we go. <clears throat> now try for the Jack of Diamonds, take the glass by the base. Good. Shall we try spying on my hand, or go over it again? Let's imagine you pour me a glass of Rhine. Remember, you need to signal you the highest card in the hand. Alright. Oh, it's an ace. Oh, I didn't see, though. Ace of spades. Oh, nope. Dang it. Uh, wrong suit. Hold on. Retry. I didn't get a C. Queen. King of hearts. Okay. Son of a bitch. Okay, seem to know what you're doing. You want me to practice more? Move on. Let's talk about the fun part then. Let me introduce you to the twin deck stack. While you're in the other room, I'll need you to stack the deck so you can get some strong cards. May I call it something similar on your way to the Parliament Cafe? Yeah. I know, I'm patronizing. Anyway, stacking a deck is where the real cheat can define the course of the whole game. Prove you've done it before, won't waste time watching you perform in isolation. Also, let's now just pull the whole strategy without my intervention. Take it away, lad. So not only do you want me to stack the deck... Quite right, we should practice how I could excuse you. My glass is empty, boy. Go to the other room, I guess. Alright. Now I just need to get... Uh, what is it? I need... Son of a bitch. Alright, so we need... Jack... Four... Six. Jack. Uh. Six of diamonds. And then we'll do a four of diamonds. Alright. Jack of Diamonds. Perfect. Bravo. 
Oh, this is gonna be really, really difficult, isn't it? Um, no, I think I got it. Very well. I'll have a nap. Wake me when we arrive. What's the worst that could happen? We're getting close to the matter. Weather outside is terrible. Do I hear thunder? Hmm. Alright. Baroness. What I have a bad feeling about what's about to happen here is not gonna be cards. My fragile butterfly, where are you? I feel like something happened to her. Oh, what the? Countess Saint Germain. Here you are, finally. I was waiting. For what? Who are you? Where's the Baroness? So many questions, so little time left. My name is Simiko Kudza Simikorva. Cesar Rain? Reunionist? This is a trap. McGregor hired me to kill you. McGregor? So soon. Oh, shoot! Count? A legend like you must have famous last words. I'm gonna look away. Because I feel like I can't do anything. You seem to know me very well. Who doesn't know the Countess Saint Germain? Famous adventurer, crafty alchemist, fake noble. And soon a pitiful corpse. What a shame. Just when I found it. Found what? Can I tell you that? It's a secret. You're not in a position to keep secrets from us. Indeed. I know how to craft invaluable pearls from common ingredients. Pretty sure the kitchen of this manor is all we need. Show us. What do I get in return? A final game of cards. Very well. My sister and Gavin grieves for the alchemical process while we play. Brilliant idea. Oh, this is gonna be real bad. And bring back some wine. I'd mix a bottle of vinegar and a pinch of black powder, two eggs, and a spoon of kempfor. Go on, son. Don't mess this up. You scared me. What are you doing? I managed to hide before they entered. Uh, I remember you. You were here a few weeks ago. Oh, mon Dewey. What are we going to do? Uh... Me? What do you want me to do? Listen, this won't end well unless we work together. Your master is stalling the inevitable, but it won't work for long. You need to help him. I have all the ingredients your master said, but I can prepare something that will smell terribly. Keep the ruffians out of this room. Go keep things calm, and I'll try to think up a plan. Yeah, because this is definitely not gonna end badly. What the heck was I doing again? Oh, I have to watch for... His highest card. Well, it's an ace of diamonds. At least I know that. And that should be up and down. Wait for the second deck to be handed off to me. Pull down. Ace of diamonds. God, that is messed up. <laughs> what a win. Very precious count. Do you see, Bertrand? Well, I... Of course you didn't see anything, you oaf. Too busy drooling down your own shirt. Count, I hope your servant is making good progress with my pearls. It certainly smells terrible. But try and go check on my pearls in the other room. I'll be sick if I go in there. You're such a pathetic lump. Don't even bother this young man. It's much too early to see anything. I'm fine. Let's play again whilst your servant tends to my pearls. Uh, yeah. While well, the servant tends to the pearls, I gotta go stack the deck. Oh, my little recipe is making me sick. Battle's finished already? Indeed. I'll explain the way you're talking to each other. Baroness would be horrified. Okay, so now I need Jack of Diamond, Seven of Diamond. Oh, shoot. Reset. No, no, no. I need uh, Four Clubs, Five of Clubs, and then an Ace. Four of Diamonds. Eight of diamonds, another ace. Finalize. So four, five, eight, five. Come on, come 
Walk on. All right, you got another Ace of Diamonds. All right, four, five, eight, five. Okay. Ace of Diamonds, which is weird that he got that again. This is far more fun than playing my Dimwit Companions. Let's go again. God, this is gonna be really, really bad. King of Clubs. Oh, Ace of Clubs, all right. Why does he keep having Ace of Clubs? All right. Ace. Clubs. The problem is going all the way over here. How about a win for you, Count? I must say, this game is beginning to bore me. If only one of my companions possessed a legitimate challenge. Wake up, Bertrand. God, this is gonna be bad. So we're gonna bet, and uh, I'm gonna have to go into the other room, and I'm gonna have to go change the dirt girl. How are you doing here? I don't know what you're doing, but I wasn't born yesterday. Duplicate Dedic in your hand. You're a cheat, aren't you? Yes, all right, all right, all right. I need to stack the deck again. So I need... What was it? The, 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 the eight. And the five. And I need the, the ace. And then I need, I don't know. Um, give me the six. And give me another six. That, and then another ace. Citrine treats his poor hate worse than a dog. Mutiny is bound to happen. Perhaps you could quicken the process a little? Oh? What do you mean by that? Hmm. Alright, let's see what he's got here. Queen of Diamonds so far. And Queen of Diamonds. Alright, and four. Perfect. Boy, are you forgetting something? Come pour me a drink. Actually, first, I'd like to pour Bertrand a drink. Oh! So we're giving him the stack deck, so it doesn't even matter that we messed up. Alright, and now, come on, come on, down, down, queen. Uh, oh wait, no, up, down, up, down, god dang it, why is it doing side to side? Up, down, up, down, come on! Ugh, Jesus. And we won. Now that's enough. Your assistant was looking at Bertrand's card while he poured the drink. You'll die here now. You lost an impressive amount of coin, but why do you think I'm the one who cheated you? Perhaps consider checking Bertrand's pockets? Eh. Bertrand, come here. A stacked deck? Last seems your accomplice has grown resentful. Oh shoot! <laughs> I think you've grown a little bit more than resentful. Jesus Christ. Well, you seem to have dodged a bullet there. Quite literally. Jesus. That was a close one. I'm impressed. You intuitively understood my plan. You make a wonderful apprentice, son. What about the maid? Is the maid in another room? I'm sure she'll be fine. They're all gone. Let's leave quietly. We don't want to draw too much attention. Yes, yeah, so let's get the heck up out of here. I must say, my young friend, you astonish me. You have a great speed and intuition. We'll conquer Paris together. You will see. No one will get in our way now. How in the world am I about to do this? Ha! Card chart. Now on Steam. Thank God, that was a long freaking demo. I'm kind of surprised by it. Oh man, I love that. I think that was like probably one of the best games I've played in a long freaking time. But god, that last bit was really hard. I don't even know what that guy would continue to, but I'd, I'd love to find out. But for now, we're going to end this episode here. So if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe down below. Hope to see you next time. More Steam One Shots. More Next Fest 2022 game demos. And more Card Chart. Peace.